It is National Pretzel Day, people. Healthy chef and partytologist Nancy Waldeck is here with fun, creative ways to enjoy this twisted snack. Welcome. Yay! Everybody is so excited about these because not only are you doing something savory, but you're doing something sweet, sweet as well. All right, and actually you have some fun facts for us. I do. Christine, did you know an Italian monk invented the pretzel? What? He gave it as a reward to his students. Folded dough that resembled arms. Come on. That, so, the folded arms with yes. a twist. I yes. love that. Isn't that cute? And um, uh, pretzels without salt are called baldies. Baldies, okay. Yes. I actually prefer a little bit of salt. So <laughs> I do too. I I, I'm not into. <laughs> even when I, you know, I know I'm trying to be good and watch my sodium. I'm like, oh. Yeah. But that is good to know. They're, they're and last baldies. but not least, the phrase um, tying the knot pretzels. Nancy, you are just a wealth of knowledge right who here. Who knew, right? Who knew? <laughs> I love it. Actually, who knew there was even a national pretzel, pretzel day, day, for heaven's <laughs> sakes. But the first dish you're going to make, I know you were so excited about me tasting. I was like, I can't. I've got to wait till we're on camera. But um, this is really easy to put together. And you say we just need a couple of ingredients right we here. We do. Okay, so we're going to start with a little yogurt, salt, garlic powder, smoked paprika, our beautiful chicken tenders here. We've made lollipops out of them with little awesome. skewers. And then it's with pretzels and peanuts. So who doesn't Ooh, love that? Yum. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get you to start with a little bit of yogurt. Yogurt. And why yogurt? Um, well, just good for you. It's better for More you. Protein. It's gonna. Um, it's gonna hold together the pretzels and peanuts. Okay. And yes, salt. Good. Salt. Yep. There, there we go. go. A little bit of garlic powder. We're using powder because we don't want it to be in, any wetter than it already is. Okay. So usually we use garlic. And then smoked paprika. Oh, I love the smoked paprika. There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. So those four ingredients. Just That's And I'm it. putting it in a pie pan um, just because, well, one, it's nice to have something you can use your pie pan for, right? <laughs> well, that is true, Nancy. <laughs> and um, two, because it's nice and um, open and you can actually just get it right in there. So I have got the chicken. Actually, I'm going to turn it over. I'll yeah. let you grab it. Got it. And then plop it right in those peanuts and pretzels. Just kind of. Yep. Now, I noticed you have them off to the side. Are you mixing them in? Yeah, just Mix like that. In. Got it. Okay. Got now it. we're going to put this on top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and add it to our tray. Will do. Fabulous. Look Perfect. at that. A little bit of ch -ch -ch. Oh, of course. We love little, this. I know. Little the oil EDOO. sprayer. Yes, excellent. Okay, and then how long do we cook for? 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Good. Easy. Yes. Perfect oh, dinner for the kids. Okay, uh, now may I? And then they're great for mm. a party, too, because people can pick them up. You can dip them in anything. <laughs> Messy, sorry. Mmm. Oh, wow. Absolutely delicious. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. Let's see what our chew crew, crew. thinks. We started something new. Yay! Well, we got to feed our hungry crew. Let's find out. Is, is thumbs up, guys? Wow, Nancy. Yay! I love it. I knew they'd like that. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay. That peanut with the pretzel. pretzels. Yeah, it's Delicious. a perfect combo, isn't it? So now we come to the sweet. And this is a little bit different, Christine. This is a freezer bar. It's an almond pretzel freezer bar. So no cooking um, required. And okay. your girls would love to make this. And again, just a few ingredients. Tell me what. Rice, uh, Rice Krispies rice cereal. Okay. About Just two cups. Mm -hmm. Got it. A little bit of almond flour. Almond flour. Now, we, I got that in the regular grocery store, so okay. it's just very finely ground almonds. And why do you prefer that over regular flour? Well, it's better for you. It brings more protein to the table and fiber. Okay. So, yeah. Well, there you go. And with this, it actually tastes better, too. So I've got a little bit of the sea salt in there. Got it. There okay. we go. Excellent. So that's our first bowl. Okay. Second bowl, bowl two, maple syrup. Oh, man. This oh, sounds amazing. I know. Okay. Good there job. We go. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of almond butter. Love it. Um, almond butter, I know, again, healthier, but or could you do peanut butter? You or? could. And if you, even if you had the kiddos with a, had a nut allergy, um, sunflower seed sunflower butter. Seed. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then just a little bit of vanilla. Vanilla. Excellent. Perfect. Yum. All right. We're making a frozen treat. How I awesome. Know. So then you're going to just add in yours to mine. Okay. So dry yeah. ingredients into the wet. Perfect. Okay. So we've got our almond, our crunch here, but we're missing our important and most important ingredient. Yes. 
And that ah, is our pretzels. our pretzels. Got it. So I just chunked them up. Good. I will tell you, my husband was laughing at me last night. How did I was, you do it? I, with a wine bottle in a plastic <laughs> bag. So you I was had like, some wine, <laughs> and then you just went ahead. Okay. I was like, what did you do? Yep. So there we go. And so we get this all uh, mixed up. What we're going to do is plop it into a parchment-lined dish. So it can be a dish like this, or it's actually easier to do it in, in a in pan. Okay. Yeah, in a pan. But you definitely want to do your parchment sling there, just like I've got this one. Okay. I wanted you to be able to see this on the, on the, on the screen. But then you can take your edges and pat it oh, down as this, well. This is so awesome. Yes. So you get it all nice and hard packed in there, put it in the freezer overnight, and the next day you have a fabulous okay. treat. Okay, a fabulous, delicious, and healthy treat. Yes. And uh, what do you think, Chew Crew? Let's go for it. Oh Isn't my God, and it's gooey. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Isn't that yummy? <laughs> They're like, what flavors are bursting in your mouth right now? <laughs> it's the maple. It's the maple. That's yes. uh, that's the sweetness, but it's not overpowering. The crunchy saltiness, um, that sweet and with the salty and then the butter. Yeah. Yum. Can't. Yum. Okay, <laughs> everybody gives Nancy, what do you think, Chew Crew? Two thumbs up. Oh. Woohoo! You did it, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you very much to our taste testers. And for more ideas and recipes just like these, please visit tasteandsavor.com, tasteandsavor.com. So awesome. All right, thank you, Nancy. Yum. All right, when we come back, a famous celebrity is in town this weekend giving everyone a peek behind the Hollywood curtain, dishing all the details of his very illustrious career. Who is he? Will I have a crush on him? Find out in For the Weekend next. Mmm.